Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. Well, we're talking about trailers again, and whether it's an old, older, older one, an oldie but a goodie, or it's a brand new trailer, really doesn't make the difference at all. That's not the point. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you that whenever you do park a trailer, you want to have some type of locks on the hitch and things. You want to make sure that you have your trailer wiring and your socket in a position so that when it rains and snows that the water runs down the socket this way. You don't want the plug-in, your female part, to be uh, facing up so it can get dirt, rain, sleet, and snow. You want to make sure that you have it facing down like this. See how this plug is kind of hanging here like this? It'll drain, it won't affect the wiring, or the plugs will stay nice and good. You also want to make sure that you, when you park your trailer, that you park your trailer at an angle. You want, the, you want the front to be significantly higher off the ground than the back. It may not show up real well in this video, but we have this trailer significantly higher, about this much higher. It's so high that, that if you put a ball underneath this trailer to hook it up over there, you'd have to really lower it about this much just to get it hooked up. The reason is, is we're dealing with an open stock trailer here that can get rain and snow in it. You want this trailer to be at an angle so that it, when it rains and it snows, that it melts, that it runs out of the trailer. That way you don't have any problems with rust. Uh, with If you have a wood floor, the wood's not going to rot because you have great drainage. The other thing you do when you want to park a trailer is to think about the trailer moving. Is the wind going to move it? You want to make sure that if the wind knocks this off of the blocks over here on the jack, that you have sufficient clear area. Notice how we've got a nice mowed, weed eated area here so that you can lift it back up. The other thing that you may want to think about, especially if you can, uh, in an emergency situation, you always want to make sure that you check your tires on a regular basis. The other thing that we do here at the home place on the ranch, when we park a trailer, we put wooden blocks under the rear bumper of the trailer, right down here that I'm stepping on. Now what we actually do is, is we'll park the trailer where we want, we'll shove a couple of good solid pieces of wood underneath that rear bumper bar on the trailer. This works for a stock trailer, horse trailer, cattle trailer, it all works the same. Now why would we do that? What we do then is when we go to crank this and we crank this up, I actually see how there's more jack here. I could lift this up, but this is really tough to crank. And the reason is, is because I have now put pressure on the rear boards of this trailer. Look, this trailer is solid. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to roll forward, it's not going to roll backwards, and what's really nice about it is, is if I had to, I could drive a four-wheeler right up in this trailer. We've, we've made it so that if you step inside the trailer to clean it, to service it, to put, just use it as a temporary storage, it's not going to lift up because you're heavy on the rear and there's nothing securing it on the front. It also allows this trailer to be stronger in the wind. One of the most important things that people don't do with their trailers, folks, is they park them in areas out of the way. And it's usually an out of the way place that has got more growth, more grass. Well, what you want to do is, notice that we have literally taken all the grass and weeds away from this. There's nothing that's going to want to build a nest under this trailer. No rats, no mice, no possums, no skunks raccoons nothing the wind is just gonna whistle right underneath this trailer and that's what it's designed for it's designed to go 65 80 miles an hour so obviously if the trailer is designed for high wind why have tall grass around it for insects and bugs to chew away at your electro wiring it doesn't it make more sense just to keep it clean and clear and we've got this parked out in the middle of nowhere on the ranch we've just made a nice pristine area where we park equipment just things to think about when you park your trailer. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves and your horses.